decide to give one looks at the map and sees a huge land mass, when you look very, very closely, large of it, a large portion of it actually cannot be used. So the density of people in relation to arable land is one of the worst in the world. If you look at the waters of northern China, where the bulk of the population live, you would find that on average during the course of the year, about approximately 50% of the water in the major river basins are neither suitable for drinking or even for industrial use. The combination of automobiles, continued use of coal in general, even though of higher quality, means that if you look into the future, China faces a problem that's not going to improve significantly or fast enough without major efforts. There are many areas in China where there's been a lot of efforts, but all those efforts have been able to do is to actually stabilize the situation and not reverse it. It's quite easy for developed countries to basically say to a developing country, you should do this, you should do that. But if the developing country doesn't have what I would call the degree of institutions, the societal trust or confidence in both government among themselves, then that kind of policy or lecturing won't have any impact. 